So you bought your first telescope. It comes with a couple lenses, but where do you go after that in terms of figuring out what to buy for the types of objects that you're going to be looking at? Figuring out what lenses to get all depends on what you want to get out of your telescope. If you're looking for deep sky objects, you're going to want low magnification and wide field views. If you're looking at the moon and planets, you may want to look at more medium or high power options in terms of magnification. The key point is you do not have to break the bank with your first purchases. If the eyepiece that you are looking at to buy first for your new telescope cost more than your new telescope did itself, I would encourage you to look at some more budget-friendly options. Today we're going to look at the lenses that I've collected over the past 10 years, how I use them, what types of objects I look at them with, and how hopefully they can help you figure out what to buy for your new telescope. For reference, we're going to be using the moon as our target. We're going to be drawing circles around the moon to show what each of the magnifications would look like if we were viewing that object in the sky. To calculate the magnification, we have to take the focal length of the telescope and divide it by the focal length of the eyepiece. Let's start with the most expensive eyepiece that I have in my collection, the Orion Q70 38mm 2-inch eyepiece. This is going to give me 32 times magnification, and it gives gorgeous views of deep sky objects such as the Pleiades star cluster, the Orion Nebula, and various other targets. If you're looking to just slowly scan the nighttime sky, this is the eyepiece that I would recommend for you. Now let's zoom in and move on to our next level eyepiece. This 25mm eyepiece actually came with my telescope, but it's the eyepiece that I probably still use the most today. It's going to provide around 48 times magnification, and I'm going to be using it primarily to find targets when I'm star hopping. Beautiful views of the moon, deep sky objects, open clusters, globular clusters, and it's the starting point for every night of observations. Moving on to my next eyepiece, we're going to be looking at the Zumel 12.5 millimeter planetary eyepiece. I bought this eyepiece for about $60 a few years ago. Sadly, it's not available anymore, but you can get the Orion equivalent for around $90 today. This is what I'm looking at for most planetary viewings. It provides around 96 times magnification, which is kind of the sweet spot for my telescope for medium magnification viewing. Lastly, I use the 6mm Zumel planetary eyepiece. This is going to provide 200 times magnification, which is the peak of what my telescope can handle on most nights. That's primarily due to atmospheric turbulence and things that are completely out of my control. Planetary views are what I primarily use this eyepiece for. Moons transiting across the surface of Jupiter, incredible views of the surface of Mars, all of those on crystal clear nights are very accessible at 200 times magnification. But again, that's going to be the maximum that I'm going to want to use on most evenings with this telescope. Eyepieces can be a very easy way to break the bank and get your spouse or significant other quite frustrated with you. I would encourage you to start out with budget lenses, particularly for your first purchases. After that, feel free to look at some of the more premium products that are out there that can easily go two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. But when you're looking at eyepieces that are worth more than your telescope, yes, there is an optical benefit to that, but don't jump into the deep end just yet. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out a little bit. And as always, be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.